Hi everyone, I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks or so. Just going to pull the cards out and see what the general story is here. This applies particularly to twin flame and soulmate relationships. This also applies to male and male relationships and female and female relationships as well. Just whoever is in masculine energy and whoever is in feminine energy. Um, this is just a message from whoever is currently either a male or identified as male or just someone who's in the ma currently in masculine energy right now. So, and again with these stories, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If this if this isn't resonating for you, then that just means it's not your story. So just move along. Um, you know, it's possible that my my zodiac my specific zodiac readings like maybe you're in that energy group but you might not necessarily be in this group that i'm channeling so if that's the case then just stick to my zodiac readings and just ignore this um so again yeah it's it's either your story or it isn't if it's not resonating then just just move it along move along um okay so let's see what's going on here how are you guys doing today how's everyone's day all right so we're just going to see what the cards want to say let's see what comes out here kind of unpredictable with the cards sometimes <laughs> they just they let you know what they want to let you know <laughs> there's a lot of reunion energy right now though that i'm feeling so it's it's a lot of it's a lot of good energy you might still be in the chaotic stages of it like you know you know uh losing old jobs old stagnant situations um you know, karmic breakups, just, you might still be in the midst of chaos, but it's good because it's clearing the way for you to be with your actual true love, your, your life partner. So it's overall pretty good energy here. We have choose a path. So maybe choosing between two people or choosing between two ways of being. And it looks like they're choosing. It's interesting. We have risk reward and bold gesture, choosing love over fear. So that's really kind of cool that that we have these two cards right together. We have choose a path and then we have choosing love over fear right here next to it. So I think that your person has been afraid. They've been overthinking things. They've been overanalyzing. They've been sabotaging this connection. And now maybe they're kind of having this awareness that they're going to lose you if they don't step up. Maybe they're just realizing, you know, they're getting older. It's that time in their life. They need to make a commitment. They can't just keep going back and forth and being on the fence. If they want you, they need to claim you. And maybe you said something to them that made them realize that or maybe just the energy. Um, they're just, they're regaining, their, they're reclaiming their confidence and strength and they are choosing love over fear and they are wanting to come forward um, with courage, assertiveness, you know, motivation. This is moving forward with you. Yes, they're afraid, but they're trying to be strong. They're trying to be courageous. They're, they're starting to realize that this really is a certain thing. I think that... Um, there could be mental illness for some of them, or it could just also be just general mental instability. Like, you know, uh, depression, fear, anxiety, um, overthinking things. You know, there's there's some uncertainty, some confusion, maybe just being stuck in their head a little bit. Maybe they weren't fully certain if you would take them back, or they weren't fully certain if they still had a chance with you, and maybe you said or did something recently that kind of let them know like, hey, I'm still here. I still want this. Like, there is some kind of, maybe they talk to their friends about you. There's something, something kind of pushed them towards you. It could have been divine intervention either, even, you know, their guy is kind of saying, hey, you need to, you need to get off the fence now. You can't just, you know, can't stay on the fence forever. You need to make a choice. You need to choose a path. Do you want to stay stuck in your fear or do you want to move forward with your, with your queen? Um, but yeah, their, their fear and their anxiety sometimes get the, gets the best of them. And it's almost like their, their insecurities and their doubts kind of leave them confused and uncertain. Like they know that you're a sure thing, but then I think that like just their past experiences and their insecurities kind of come up and their anxiety just kind of lies to them and they get stuck in their head and they start doubting everything. But they're coming out of that energy now though. They are, I think that's, that's been in the past, but I think, I feel like they are, they're realizing that it's time. A lot of them are wanting to take it slow, though, because they're aware that they have this mental instability. They're aware that their fear sometimes get the be gets the best of them, and it's almost like they feel like you're just too good for them, like too good to be true, and so they get, it's almost like it just scares them. 
You are pulling them in though. You know, they want to get to know you. They want to take things slowly. They, they want that balance here. Yeah, you're their home, their their sense of belonging, their their safe space. You're you're their rock. You've been there through for them through it all. I think here. Let me see what we have here. So we've got X in the past. We've got sex and seduction. We have waiting, hoping, and praying, and then we have potential life partner and true love. I think he's being seduced by you right now. So. He's seeing you. He's seeing you in a very sexual way, right? I mean, he sees you in a romantic way, of course. Um, you know, he sees you as his other half. You know, he does see you in a romantic way, but there's a lot of sexual energy. So you guys might be, um, you know, energetically exchanging sexual thoughts, telepathy, just sex magic, that kind of energy. And it looks like, see how this this energy is kind of looking towards this and away from the ex, the past. So I take that to mean those of you in a third party situation, your person really isn't feeling the third party so much. They're kind of just, they're thinking about you. They're touching themselves thinking about you. They're seduced by you. They're they are praying for this connection to, to work for them. They're they're hoping, they're, they're waiting, they're trying to, they're trying to plan things out, they're trying to plan for a future with you, you know, there's this true love potential life partner energy, and so they're looking away from the ex, they're not wanting that energy anymore. This could also be, for those of you that maybe not necessarily, your person might not necessarily still be with somebody, but maybe they're, they've had a lot of damage due to the karmic partnership they were in before, Maybe they have some trust issues, some insecurities. It kind of makes sense with confusion, uncertainty, and mental instability here. It's like they just have these fears and anxieties that they're never going to be good enough. It's almost like someone else's voice in their head, like someone that they've been with kind of putting them down and just using them and abusing them. And it's like they haven't fully healed from that. And so there's still a little bit of doubt when it comes to a kind of connection like what they have with you when, you know, it's just true love. It's just completely pure and they're just like, why would someone love me that much? Why would someone not use me? Why would someone want me like that? You know, it's almost like this too good to be true kind of energy for them where they're just confused as to how you're just so stable and so patient with them. You know, it's like they just feel like life has to be a struggle. Like they always have to fight for things. And with you, it's just like you're their rock. You're you're, you've been really good to them. You know, you guys might have gotten in an argument or two in the past, but overall, you've been pretty solid and consistent with them. And they're just, they don't feel like they deserve it. They're not fully used to it. But um, but yeah, they're, they're looking away from the ex. So whether this is a karmic they're currently with that they're just not feeling her anymore and they're trying to get away from her and come to you and they're, they're waiting and hoping and praying for a way out of this karmic connection so they can be with you, their potential life partner, their true love, or... If it's just past energy and for a long time they were listening to that nagging insecurity and the fear and the doubt and their ex-girlfriends um, or ex-boyfriends, you know, um, voice in their mind saying you're never going to be good enough for anybody. You're never, no one's ever going to want you. You're always going to be used. You're always going to be this, that. They're finally not listening to that anymore. They're finally moving on from that energy, moving on from the karmic damage, healing the karmic damage and you know, just being seduced by you and just realizing how amazing you are and, and being enthralled by you and 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 realizing, you know, that you're their true love, their their potential life partner. So it is really good energy. You know, like I said, they're finally they've been kind of on the fence for a long time, kind of trying to choose a path, choosing between their love and, you know, this new start with you and their their fears and insecurities and it looks like they are making this bold gesture or they're in the energy of, of wanting to finally make this bold gesture and have courage and come to you you know they're not listening to their insecurities the way that they were in the past they're starting to finally you know stand up for themselves and say you know what no that 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 inner voice that tells me I'm not good enough is based on my damage it's not who I am you know, they're, they're reclaiming their, their masculine energy. They're reclaiming their strength and their confidence. They're, they're in this healing process where they're starting to finally stand up to those um, negative insecure thoughts. They're starting to realize the origin of those negative insecure thoughts. So it's, it's really good. All right. Do we have any final quick messages here? Got any final quick messages here? 
What do you want to say? Ooh, okay. Vulnerability and receptivity. That's good. They're allowing themselves to be vulnerable finally. I think they're finally starting to, I don't know if you said or did something recently, but something is, is it could be a divine push, like I said too, but something is is getting them to to trust this connection more, to trust that this is true love. Something is is pushing them to take that leap of faith with you. Whether it's you pushing them or the divine, it's it's yeah, they're they're some something or someone's pushing them. Could even be their friends pushing them. You know, if their friends saw a message that you sent, their friends might be like, hey, like you need to you need to take that chance. It's not you it's not gonna come around again, you know? And here the first card we have here is end of a pattern or cycle breakthrough freedom so so yeah they're ending that cycle of insecurity and fear and running away and listening to you know all the damage their ex caused them they're they're ending those patterns they were trapped and blocked by them before um they were blind and they didn't see that they needed to cut this this red thread between them and the karmic or you know, again, it, it might not be that they're necessarily with the karmic now, but it could just be like damage from exes in the past. You know, people that just dragged them down and made them feel like they weren't good enough. Maybe being bullied in school, um, always being the odd man out, that kind of energy. And they, they were blind. They were trapped. They, they couldn't see that this red thread, I don't know if you can see it, this red thread she's got in her hand. Um, it's like your person couldn't see that red thread between them and the karmic and them and those toxic negative situations and people needed to be cut. And now they're, they're, they're taking this blindfold off and they're waking up and realizing they need to cut this thread and they're cutting it, you know, they're ending this pattern they're ending this cycle. They're doing, they're very introspective right now. I get a very, very introspective energy, you know, where in the, in the past, like if they had these insecure doubts and stuff that would come up, like, oh, I'm not good enough for my true love, or I can't give her what she wants right now, or um it's too good to be true like this kind of love can't last in the real world you know like they had all these like insecure thoughts in the past but now they have this new perspective so when those thoughts come up now and i just it, yeah i'm getting confirmation here with numbers when those thoughts come up now they they um they're they're acknowledging them in a different way they're not before like those thoughts would come up and they would just give in to them they'd be like yeah that's probably true like that's, that's true. My, you know, it's not going to work. I need to be logical about this. Whereas now when those thoughts come up, they actually sit, sit with them and they think, you know, where does this thought come from? This thought is coming from my ex that damaged me or being bullied in school or neglected by parents or, you know, it comes from all the heartbreak I've had in my past. It's not something I should listen to because this situation is different than what I've been through before. You know, it's like if you want something you never had, you have to do something you've never done. And they're really being introspective and they're they're doing this like deep spiritual healing. And so they're responding to those negative thoughts in a much different way now. They're like, you know what? The origin of this thought is my ex or my family or this or that. It's something that I need to let go of and heal from. I don't need to listen to these thoughts anymore. I need to change my perspective, change my belief patterns. I need to to think differently. I need to do things differently with my true love here, you know. So they're really taking responsibility for themselves finally. Um, and yeah, they're ending these patterns. They're ending these thought patterns, these cycles. They, they have this breakthrough freedom energy coming in. And they're wanting a new start with you. They might be thinking about traveling with you, having a honeymoon with you. This could also just be taking your relationship to the next level. Um, just kind of wanting to escape life from you. They just, they're their safe space. They're wanting this new start, this new adventure with you. It's got betrayal, jealousy, conflict, finances and career, fear of commitment, taking it slow. Chaser, chasey, vulnerability and receptivity. We have courage, assertiveness, loyalty, and stability. This is actually the best energy I've seen with the masculines in a long time because I feel like whenever I channel them, I always get like, oh, they want to make a move, but they're so scared. They're so in their head. And this is the first reading in a while I've done where it's like they're not allowing themselves to get stuck in their head anymore from what I'm getting from this reading. Like, yes, the fear and the doubts are still there, but they're not responding to them the way that they have been. They're finally ending that pattern, that cycle. So it's really beautiful. They've got angels and, and, you know, gods and goddesses and their spirit guides helping them with this too, pushing you guys together. 
I think this is a quick message about where their fear of commitments, part of where their fear of commitment is stemmed from. So we've got finances, career, and sphere of commitment, and we have betrayal, jealousy, conflict. Could be somebody cheating on them. Could be also somebody betraying them when it comes to finances, like somebody, like a financial partner they, that they were like close friends with that kind of screwed them over financially. Some kind of conflict. Could also just be somebody using them for money. Because I did get that energy where... They're kind of like, why would somebody not use me? Why would somebody want me for me? So it wouldn't surprise me if someone was using them to get ahead in their career. Someone was using them for their own vanity, their own, their just their own well-being, you know, just kind of a psychic vampire type that they used to be with. And that's sort of where their fear of commitment stems from. It's this, this betrayal, um, either cheating or some kind of financial betrayal that they went through, you know, this, this energy of conflict that kind of... Um, gave them this fear of commitment basically and it could be multiple things like bullying and family issues you know that have kind of built up over the years not necessarily just one thing we have taking it slow and pulling them in getting to know each other so kind of being gentle with them being patient with them not allowing them to ghost you and do whatever they want but um but kind of under having empathy for where they come from, you know, kind of talking to them and like be like letting them like as long as they're moving, you know what I mean? Like you guys should be able to hang out. You guys should be talking on a regular basis. But if they want to take things slow, it's like, OK, that's OK, as long as there is mo forward movement. You know what I mean? It can't be going at a snail's place like, like they ignore you for a week or two. That's not OK. But taking it slow is like. You know, you guys hang out, you go on dates, or you talk here and there, but maybe you don't jump into a relationship right away. You know, that's what I kind of see as taking it slow. Just kind of getting to know each other, kind of, you know, talking, just understanding where they're coming from, building trust with each other, really just getting to know each other. Um, and making sure it doesn't turn into a power struggle, because you guys have both been hurt. So it's kind of like you play games and then they play games or they play games and then you play games like you ignore them all day and then they ignore you all day or, or vice versa. You know what I mean? It's kind of like making sure you guys are on the same page, that you guys are both going at the same speed that you both want to go on. And so it doesn't turn into this power struggle. But, you know, seeing how patient you are with them, seeing how empathetic you are with them and how just that you're mindful, you know what I mean? That you're not just out for yourself, that you really genuinely care about their well-being, that you care about them and love them as a person, that you really know who they are and you're not just trying to use them for money or for your own gain. You're not trying to drain them. You're not trying to use them as a crutch. You're, you're not trying to play these. You're not trying to play games with them. You're actually trying to let all the ego bullshit go and just really love them on a soul level for who they really are. And just that, that it's like they see you as like this angel, you know, they kind of see you as just like this, this pure being, this, this loving, um, just positive figure of just light in their life. And that's helping them be vulnerable and open and receptive to you. And it's helping them come forward and it's helping them do the healing work and end these patterns with, you know, the karmic situations they've been in. And it's helping them come forward to you with, with courage and assertiveness um, it's the, your your angelic energy, your light, your empathy, your patience with them, your love, um, the way you're trying to communicate in a more positive, patient level with them. All of that is just encouraging them to come forward with you know love offer with with loyalty. They're trying to you know realize that they can be loyal to someone and someone can be loyal to them in return. Finally, you know they want a stable connection with you. They want to make these promises to you. They want to to be your knight here. You know they want this loyal long-term connection with you and and so this this energy you holding space for them just that angelic energy it's just getting them so much courage and so much strength to come forward and and realize that this is a different kind of connection than what they've had in the past and just offer you this loyalty and stability and you know make some promises to you and actually stick by them with honor and integrity so it's a really beautiful reading and um, again i have not seen the masculines in this kind of energy in a really long time so i'm hopeful here with this energy that they're, they're finally doing the inner work that they need to do. They're finally moving forward in their lives. So it's, it's really beautiful. Um, if you want me to look deeper into your situation, message me. My email is below. I do um, paid private readings. Um, so yeah. And if this resonates, go ahead and subscribe to me. I do these pretty regularly. Thanks for watching.